Hi, my name is Julia Rodriguez. I'm an associate professor in Kresge Library and the Nursing, Health Sciences, and Scholarly Communications Librarian. To ensure public access to reliable scientific and health information, I empower researchers to make informed choices on how to share the results and how to take measurable actions to reach the widest possible audience. Openly shared research accelerates discoveries and can more effectively solve the world's toughest problems. Why use social media? Social media tools facilitate knowledge exchange by spontaneously connecting communities of like-minded individuals and experts across institutions and disciplines. With social media, knowledge translation and public engagement is crowdsourced, allowing for greater dissemination of information interpreted from varying perspectives. Broader uses and access also gives a voice to the traditionally underrepresented groups. Participating in these discussions is what it means to be a publicly engaged scholar. Today we will discuss why it's important for researchers to use social media, how to be deliberate in the creation of your digital identity, and how to get your work seen and shared by a broad audience. The hands-on session will focus specifically on using Twitter to communicate your research and to connect with communities beyond academia, and we will provide best practices for using this tool. So let's have some fun. Good afternoon. I'm Holly Shreve Gilbert, and I've been a journalist for my entire adult life, I'm happy to say. And I'm also happy to say that I've been an instructor here at Oakland University in the journalism program for the past 24 years. Of course, reporting and writing are at the bones of what I do and what I teach. But beyond that, what I try to instill in my students is an appreciation for what I think is the enormous responsibility they have when they practice journalism. I think this is especially true in the current troubled waters of the information ecosystem. This is a time when separating fact from fiction has never been more challenging and that makes it even more crucial that science-based research and empirical knowledge reach a popular audience. It is still very true that the media play a central role in informing the public about what happens in the world, and that can and should include the work of scholars and academics such as yourselves. Look, you're all already fabulous, accomplished writers. Now you just need to look at your expertise and your work through a different lens and do a bit of repackaging. So today, in our workshop, we're going to explore press releases and feature writing, two paths to mainstream exposure that have the potential to make your research as interesting and important to others as it is to you. Hello, colleagues. My name's Crystal Van Coten, and I'm an assistant professor of writing and rhetoric here at OU. As a scholar, I study what's called writing for digital media. In other words, I study what writers do and what writing looks like in online digital spaces. This kind of writing involves the alphabet and words, as you might expect, but it also involves elements like images, sounds, music, and voice, and it requires the use of different technologies and tools. Tools like the microphone that I'm using to record right now, and the software that we use to put this video together. These kinds of technologies can be useful to all of us as scholars who want to share and promote our work beyond OU. Things like videos or recorded sound bites can now be easily shared online, linked on a website, or even posted to um, sites like Facebook and Twitter. So today, I'll offer you a little bit of help for how you might start to think about presenting your work in a short recording that could be shared online, like these recordings that we are using to introduce ourselves. So get ready, because if all goes as planned, you are going to actually record your voice before you leave the workshop today. <laughs> 